USC, Compton, Watts, Bay to LA. Pomona, California, from valley to valley, we represent that killer county. So if you keeping it real on your side of your town, you tune in to Gangsta Chronicles. Gangsta Chronicles, we gon' tell you how it goes. Uh, if I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show. You're now tuned in to the real MCA Big James and Big Stairs. This is strictly from the streets. Hello. Like you said, the gang banging sh- is so many motherfuckers I know that's Crips that ride or die for me. No that, that, that I'm talking about side to side. And there's a lot that I went out the bat for it. I'm talking about Real my shit. nigga run from Kitchen Crib. From Kitchen? Yeah. I'm, I'm a motherfucking blood with red yeah. rags, red rags in my pocket. But I'm in their hood. I'm in, I'm in uh, at Drew Junior High. Uh, banging like a motherfucker with my nigga. The police snatchers and like, wait a minute, what the fuck going on here? You a kitchen crib. And all of us bloods. But I came to to fucking L.A. to fight for my nigga Ron. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Niggas was fucking with him. That was my nigga. And we, we rolled like that. You know what I'm saying? I had my run-ins with the kitchens. I had my run-ins with Skull from 7-6. Yeah. From the East Coast. I had a run-in with pretty much everybody. But it was always... A head up thing. Nigga, y'all sit back. Stand back. I got it. If I ain't got it, if, I, if I'm getting my ass whooped, just get the nigga off me. Exactly. You feel me? Mm. <laughs> but you know how many G homies really love James, though, homie? Respect like, get you that. Respect, exactly. Respect get yeah. you that. Yeah. Respect. Respect. Being 100 with I niggas. I and James way before he knew me. I grew up in Santana Hood. You know what I mean? Mm. So I knew... My Blues Park, all you know what I mean? This one they was formed as one, you know what I mean? Right. For all the bullshit mm-hmm. and all that, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, and James always one of them bell ringers, homie. Huh? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, name like, ring bells in the street. That part, like back in the day, James would have knocked me down, I would have knocked James down, I would have been a point knocking James down. <laughs> you feel not like that, not Oh, shit. yeah, it would have been. You would have oh, got, yeah, yeah, you got your stripes with being certain real. niggas. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Would, exactly. It was Only certain niggas like, that was rolling around that, man, man respected because respect like, like, them was points. Them was points. That guy. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. James was that he guy. He had that, you know? like, he had that name. That you get boy. me? Yeah, and you know what's crazy is, I don't seen a lot of shit but I ain't never seen no nigga get his ear knocked off before. Yeah, uh, that's why I told him to stay the fuck away from me. ear, man, we also got my man, man, that's Max right, Payne right. Griffin in the house. What up, what up, how you guys doing? It's cragging. What's up, homie? Hey, Max, Max. Man, you know what the crazy part is? We talking about all this gangster shit. And we talk, and then he come on, he sounds so nice, but he probably put everybody's ass in the parking lot. <laughs> he, 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 he ain't gonna put my ass out in the I'm gonna pull that pistol <laughs> out, man. Don't let it your that. motherfucking hand up with me. Pop that trunk real man. quick. Like, fuck so, that. So, so, so we talking about childhoods and shit, Max. How the hell does one become a UFC fighter? Because that's some different shit right there. Man, and shout out to the room, man. It's the, it's an honor to be in here with these legends, man. Real nigga shit in here, and I only fuck with real niggas. Period. As I've grown, my circle's getting smaller but better, and That's good. Um, yeah. different people. You connect with different motherfuckers on your frequency, bro, and shit just fucking booms. That's right. Anyway, y'all some real niggas. I had to had to say that. Anyway, um, you know, I was a kid. I did martial arts when I was young. Um. Four to 13. I was born in Santa Barbara, moved to Sacramento, but did that all the time. I mean, Monday through Friday, every day, um, you know, did the martial arts stuff. Um, got out of it, though. Got to high school. My dad left. My dad dipped. And that's when I kind of did my, um, you know, live my thug life, so to speak. You know, I got in trouble. So I ran with all my crib niggas, my cousins, my yeah. uncles. It was all, you know, North Highlands Gangsta Crips, man, and all of them, man. It was just, you know, who he was around, my family, my brothers, and it was lit. Um, we did a lot of shit, you know. My life was totally different. 
Um, everything you could think of, though. I don't want to incriminate myself. I'm out here, though. I'm out here, man. You can pay you to whoop ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. But back in the day, man, you know, I'm thankful to be alive. I've been in so many situations where I shouldn't be here. If if God wasn't there, I mean, seconds, literally split seconds of luck, sort of say, with getting shot, all kinds of shit, all kinds of everything you could think of, facing 100 years on seconds, you know, doing some shit and, you know, 99.9, some shit should have happened and nothing happened. Like, yeah. I've been in those situations where I've been saved and, um, you know, I, I am where I am now. I do reach out to a lot of, you know, different kids and, you know, I'm in the community speaking to the kids because, shit, I've been there. I've been in these shits where you're, 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 you're 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 jacking somebody, and that's you know you're getting your shit, and that's how it's gonna go down. Like it don't matter. But to be there now and um, to inspire these people and the, to to get together, um, you know. So I started fighting when I was 21. Kind of got past all that. I was actually at Reggae on the River. It's a festival in Humboldt County, um, in Humboldt. People come from all over the world to go. Um, you know, Bob Marley, them were up, not Marley, but Damien and all the guys were up there. This, mm-hmm. you know, it's a huge festival. Mm-hmm. We was up there. Um, we actually did security with the homies. You know, walk around all the tents, the nicest people in the world. People, this dude rode his bike from New York to go there. <laughs> all the way to California, you know what I'm saying? There's different, people. Some different eccentric motherfuckers. Dedicated. They give you the shirts off their back, though. Some of the nicest That's people. Cool. Some ever, ever, everyone ass. looks you in the eye. Some, everyone some just so ass genuine, ass like really. But the, the people, there, you could feel it when you're there, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so I had an epiphany. We're all, you know, smoking at the end of the night. Some I heard a voice. You're gonna start fighting when you get back. I started fighting when I, I said, "Hey, I'm gonna start fighting when I get back." They're like, "Really? Yep, I did." Went back, and shit. Here we are now. I've been on a rampage. Went amateur. You know, won all the titles in California, had to fight in Oregon, fought over, all over the place, worked, you know, amateur ranks up, um, turned pro, was a champion everywhere in that, in Reno and up to California. And <sighs> man. Speaking from like the artist aspect of it, you know, like, you know, being able to try to get into the record business, whatever, is it difficult to get into that field? Yeah. Do you have to know the right person to get into? You have the position to, you in. You do, but on top of that, it's like being an NBA player. It's so hard to really get in there. I mean, you you could be good, but I mean, how many fights you have, and you're fighting good guys. If you need, if you need, you know, you need experience. You need to fight good guys. There's guys that only fight cans. My coach always said, "Hey, you, who's your best guy?" You know, I always fought the best guy, the baddest ass dude, the the champion. I that's who I always had to be put against. Well, that's how you got to get your name out there. You go around just fighting nobodies and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be surprised. You know, yeah, yeah, definitely. Fights and nobody. You still <laughs> don't even know. No, 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 I, I done been to a couple of these little UFC circuits and shit, and you, I'd be like. Who is this motherfucker? And who this is this motherfucker? Yeah, because motherfucker it's different from watching up. the motherfuckers you see on TV and the motherfuckers exactly. got the names and all that. That's why I say yeah. with, with the same kind of thing with the record business. Back in my days, it was hard to get into the business. It's different than it is now. You know what I'm saying? You can set up shit, do whatever. But back then, you basically had to know a motherfucker to get in that door. Well, you, you got some cats that's lucky that just hungry and got yeah. there. Right. Because I want to win because yeah. I'm determined. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a fighter. And like the clip I just saw you fighting, yeah. I saw you down like, oh, it's over. But you stood back up and came out that second one, second round in, in that ass. Yeah. And Please. and you dropped somebody Please. that never been on the ground, hit the, you know, hit yeah. the cameras before. Yeah. So that's just like, if, if you ain't got the heart in it, that's what anything, if you yeah. ain't got the heart... If you think you're gonna lose a fight before it even starts, you over, you done. You done. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna get this motherfucker quick. Cause at my age now, and I only got like a minute and a half. That's it. If I don't knock you out <laughs> the first blow, I'm, I'm gonna have to start, you know, doing something different. Or pull out on your ass. 
But yeah, man, you just gotta have a heart of a lion and gotta really want it. You gotta really want it. Hey, that's just like the field, though, James. If you think you just too invincible, nigga, and you can't get touched, you gonna lose. But see, them the stupid time, cats that think that they, that they can't lose. On my mama, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? And you you have a problem. I don't want to see his name because this nigga be talking crazy. Real shit. But a certain individual, when you finally lose, mm -hmm. you like what the fuck. Now your mentality mm -hmm. fucked up because mm -hmm. now you don't know how to face the you people. You gotta learn, man. You've been a dragon you gotta to. Learn, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you don't went from a dragon learn. to a motherfucking yeah. lizard but see, uh, like that. That's a motherfucker. That's, that's a motherfucker. You gotta learn, bro. Yeah. That's a motherfucker who underestimates. But if you if you understand Winning is losing. Winning is losing, bro. And if you can accept the ass whooping and go that right part. back in there and get your grind mm -hmm. on, then you ain't got no problem. Mm -hmm. Whoop my ass, I'll be back. Because a warrior, nigga, win, lose, a draw. Nigga, as long as you still did, nigga, and kept it gangster, mm -hmm. nigga, right. you did what I'm talking about. Like you said, whoop I'll my ass every I'll be day. Back. Yeah, you got to make up for it. Now you got to know you got to do something different. I got to do something different, yeah, do now, something different next time. Yeah, this yeah, motherfucker yeah. caught me with a couple. Man. I, 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 okay, I, I peeped that out. Real I, shit. I'll be back, motherfucker. Exactly. So, Hell yeah. It's good. You know, speaking of dumb people, right? You went viral for knocking the motherfucker's ear off. How many times a week do a motherfucker approach you in the street on some shit like trying to scrap? Like like really trying to like scrap, talk, like trying to bait you in? It's more online, bro. It's more online. People online talking reckless. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's I know a, a lot of these that's people. The day, that's the day and age I know a lot of though. these people. And that's the problem. Me? Like, oh. I, you know, sometimes I don't want to get to me, but when people, it's people I know and people I'm around, like, it's just like you said it to me right now. Like, shit ain't going to fly. And let me know? ask you one question. Do all you niggas got that ear, man? That yeah. cauliflower ear? Oh, you yeah. niggas got that ear. Look, bro. check this one. <laughs> Damn, that nigga's a fool. That's, a, that's that, that ear that I knocked off. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you all put it on your jacket on you? Yeah, yeah, he he that them, motherfucker on all them niggas, most of them got them cauliflower ears, bro. Hey, so, yeah. so when you, too, I mean, when you did it, that, yeah, all of them, when, you, when you knocked his ear off, did you feel bad from doing it? I almost threw up. You seen it, James? I hit him. Not yeah, I seen the video. So look, I, my head was on him. My head was all on him. He was bleeding all over me. I hit him. My head was on him. And I peeled back. And I seen it. Like, it was on my face. I was like, oh, my God. And he looked like, what? You know? And then the ref was, it Did was it over. Did it fuck you up, though? My stomach hurts, bro. Talking about <laughs> right 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 it, It was disgusting, hurts. bro. I'm not even really sure. that squeamish, but it was... He had the, it was, he, my question he was, had the whole concern order, huh? for him? No. That no? Man, he that, was that, talking shit. He was saying, was, no. he was saying how he's going to come in there and just submit me. That's uh, sorry, buddy. You you're not just going to, I'm a vet, bro. That's you ain't just going to come in there and tell me you how, you're just, just going to choke me head. out real quick. No. No, that's just what James was saying. Don't disrespect me like that. It's just you like yeah, you popping, nigga. It's Don't disrespect me like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, I mean, what I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you in there, you you in there, but it's a job. Yeah, but okay. Especially if you nigga that did something. Shit, knock a motherfucker ear off. I mean, you ain't thinking like. Oh man, my bad. I, I ain't, no, you know, if he did, with a heart. if he wasn't talking shit, I woulda. You know, but just because now it's personal. Yeah, Fuck you. That's he goes why your he, gone. after he goes. Cause, cause <laughs> I was kind of being nonchalant with him, you know, like yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't know what I, you know, did to you, you know. Actually, yeah. I seen him backstage. I seen him backstage. I seen him backstage in the ring. I was just kind of nonchalant, like oh, yeah, whatever. And you know, I seen him backstage. He, he goes. I don't know, you know what, you know what you heard about, or I was like, I heard you said you're just gonna come out here and submit me, and he's like, well, well, we didn't overlook you. I'm like, so you said it, you know what I mean? We didn't overlook you. I was you like, well, <laughs> I was like, well, he goes, you know, I thought we could, you know, box with you or something. And I was like, well, you know, did the shorter shrug and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They did show it on. It's okay. nasty, though. Okay. okay. It's, it's, sure. it's, yeah. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it all like that. Bro. That's some treacherous I, shit, though, that show UFC me shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to see that's it. That's some different <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs>